Alright guys, welcome to a epic episode of Ball of Boxings and in today's video we have possibly my greatest custom figure haul ever. But yeah, we actually have two parcels in this video. We have the parcel here containing the customs, but first we have this other one which is just one figure I believe uh, from Wrestle HQ and yeah, I've wanted this for a while. So I guess we'll start with this. This can be the warm up until we get to the awesome customs. Now I didn't know whether to include this in the video or not, but I thought, you know what, why not? Alright, there we go, got the newspaper, there it is. And yeah, in here we have the, if I can actually get to it. The then now forever, Sami Zayn Ali, and yeah, loose. I really wanted this for a long time, and I saw him poster with a bunch of other loose figures, and yeah, he gave me a really good price on it, so I decided to get it. I think I'm gonna do a head swap on it with the Elite 63 at some point, even though this is a pretty good head scan. This would honestly work for an updated heel, Sami Zayn. Uh, yeah, we have got the awesome Sami Zayn shirt. We have the awesome attire. Really like this attire, even though it's very similar to the Elite 51. Um, yeah, but yeah, this looks really nice, can't wait to use this in a show at some point. Alright, so we'll put Sammy back there, and here we go, on to the main event, cannot wait to get into this. And yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here, a few customs, a few fix-ups I asked him to do for me. And yeah, shout out to Mac Decals for this, definitely one of the best customizers in the community. All the figures are so clean, I've had some customs off him before, I had the yellow Ricochet and the Roderick Strong. But yeah, really awesome. Be sure to go follow him on Instagram. You probably do already. But uh, yeah, anyway, let's get right into this. Oh boy. Let's see. What's the best way to get into this? Probably the top, maybe? No. Yeah, let's go in the top, actually. That's probably where it's best organized. Here we go. Oh, baby. Here we go. Oh yes, look at all that. So here we have, as always with his orders, we have the thank you for your order card. I've got a few of these now. Yeah, go follow him if you don't already. You must do though. What are you doing if you don't? Um, yeah. How should we start this? Not bubble wrap. No, let's get the card out. Let's get the card out. Down there. Right. I don't even know how to begin this. Yeah, let's start off with this one here, or these two here. Uh, these were the two fix-ups I asked them to do for me. Yeah, you can probably tell what that is. So be careful. So I'll tell you the reason behind some of these. Uh, we have the Elite 74 Andrade, and I sent him this. Uh, along with the Sin Cara, and he put the torso of it onto my Andrade, making it a lot more updated. Yeah, he made it a lot more to what it looks like now. Um, yeah, awesome job on this torso crack. So nice. Because he gave Andrade that horrible Daniel Bryan torso. And yeah, this is really nice. Even though I didn't mind it, I just thought, if I'm sending him the Sin Cara anyway for something else, I may as well get this done. Uh, yeah, really awesome Andrade. I need to throw the accessories back on here now. Yeah, we've got the jacket on there, and obviously Mr. Money in the Bank in my fed, looking awesome with that bigger torso. So yeah, thank you for this, so cool. That is awesome. I could have attempted this myself, but knowing me, I would have messed it up anyway. I think I've only ever done one torso crack in my life, and that was just the top half. There's no way I'd be able to crack this, so yeah, I had to get this done. Awesome job on that. And the next one is the Elite 72. Roderick Strong with the ripped torso. As you guys know, I had two of these, and one of them I sent off to get a custom done, which I will grab once I've shown you this. And yeah, I asked him to put the ripped torso on the Elite 72 Roderick Strong, so it matches my custom I got of him a few months ago. And yeah, this looks really awesome for when I'm ready to finally use it. And yeah, obviously he's not in Undisputed Era in my fed yet. He is the current Cruiserweight Champion, but, but yeah, this attire is so nice, and it looks so much better with the ripped torso. Can't, I hope we get the... um. 
Kyle, Adam Cole and Bobby in this attire. That would be really awesome. I need to add the Undisputed Era armband and the shirt because I kept the accessories when I sent the figures. So uh, yeah, I'll go do that now. So yeah, here it is with the armband on looking absolutely fire. This is such a good figure. I can't believe how rare this got as well. I'm glad I got it when I when I could. But here it, here it is next to my custom Roderick Strong. Uh, this is the attire he wore at TakeOver New Orleans. So before he joined Undisputed Era and obviously with the Cruiserweight Championship. So yeah, both Roderick Strongs now have their ripped torsos looking absolutely fire. Awesome work from Mac Decals. Yeah, they just look so cool now. So glad to have this finally done. Right, so now with the fix-ups covered, we move into the customs and... Oh boy, I cannot wait for this. So, first one we shall grab is... I don't even know, actually we have something else in here. We have these... Oh yeah, these are just some fodder parts that I sent to him. But, um, didn't need to use them and I just asked to send them back. So, we have the... We have the ricochet legs I sent him because he used the upper half on something that we're going to get into in a minute. You'll probably guess what it is now. And we have the original Roderick Strong torso, which I can use for something in the future maybe. So yeah, glad he sent those back. Awesome. Right, so now we get into the customs. Right, let's start off with let's start off with this one. Oh man, this is awesome. Be very careful now. Cut this bit of tape. Oh man, this looks like Mattel, man. This is crazy. We have the Elite Custom WrestleMania 35 AJ Styles. And this is by far probably my favourite AJ Styles attire he's ever worn. It was the uh, Elimination Chamber 2017 one, but the gold and white just looks awesome. Along with the jacket. Damn, that looks fire. So yeah, he even included the custom shirt, the Never Rest, Never Rush shirt, which he was rocking uh, when he faced Seth at Money in the Bank last year. Damn, this is so good, man. Look at the decal work and everything. So good. Even the two sweet hand. Looking absolutely awesome. Yeah, he even included the spare mic holding hand, so I can just have him with the mic holding hands. He even put the slit in the arm pad. Just the detail that went into this is amazing. Damn, firework from Mac Decals right here. So yeah, I actually sent him the Top Talents 2019 AJ Styles and the Top Talents 2018 jacket to make this. So yeah, awesome work once again. Never rest, never rust. That is what Mac Decals does in the custom game. But uh, yeah, even this like um, little armband here he wears is sculpted. It's like I can focus on it. It's like some rubber material, so you can take it off if you want to, but I'm not going to. Uh, but yeah, that looks awesome. Amazing. We may even get this from Mattel yet, you know, but I don't even care. We haven't heard it. It's been like over a year now. We may get it in the future, but oh well, whatever. I'm just very glad to finally have this attire. I've wanted it for so long. But uh, AJ Styles, WrestleMania 35, amazing custom right there. And it's only getting better from here. Alright, so here we have one, which I wasn't even sure about, if I wasn't even planning on getting, until um, I just asked him how much it would be, and yeah, he decided, we decided on a price, and I just copped it, but yeah, you can probably see it is another AJ Styles Elite, so I never even planned on getting this, I planned on just getting the one AJ, I saw he was making these, and I just had to get one. It is the WrestleMania 32 AJ Styles, and I can't believe Mattel have not making made this yet. It's absolutely crazy. But yeah, we have the normal mic holding hand once again. The detail, man, on them gloves is crazy, and obviously the figure. But yeah, look at that amazing work. The two sweet hand once again. It's just it's just top tier quality, you know. That, that's all I can describe it as. Absolutely awesome. Styles from when he faced Jericho at Mania. Jericho won that for some reason, but that doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, incredible work. Another one for the AJ Styles collection. They're actually like really easy to pose and everything, so I can definitely use these in a future show. 
Uh, I do plan on doing that, obviously, that's why I got them. Uh, but damn, this is crazy. A two sweet hand, I think this is the two sweet hand from the two pack with uh, AJ Styles and Bala, just painted and everything. Yeah, let's get a close up on the glove. Look at that. It's just, that is so much detail right there. On the gloves alone. Damn. So clean. Such a clean attire. And a clean job on the custom. So yeah, that is the other AJ Styles that I got. So cool. I feel like I'm repeating myself, but there's literally nothing else I can say. Apart from describe them. And finally, we have one more in here. Yes, I know. We are still going. The box is going down. And we are on to the last one right here. You can probably tell what it is from the... Um, from the ricochet legs that got sent back to me uh, but yeah let's get right into this we have a custom elite ricochet and I've wanted this attire for so long it's from his debut in the North American title ladder match all the way back in 2018 so I think it's fair to say we won't be getting this unless he rocks it again but yeah look at this damn it's the dark red with the gold uh, outline on the designs and everything just amazing, the white wrist tape, and yeah, I sent him the ricochet to use, it's the upper ricochet body, and then with Sin Cara legs, which I sent, um, and then he used the Sin Cara torso on the Andrade, so no parts went to waste, but damn, look at that man, that is just so clean, I will be posting better pictures of these on my Instagram, uh, at Balafigs underscore UK, he probably, he posted this as well, so you can go check that out, damn, look at, ugh, I can't even... I can't even find the words to describe this guy, I cannot wait to start using this eventually and it'll just be so nice to have on display definitely my favourite ricochet attire probably except from the I really do like that blue one, I might have to get a blue elite custom in the future, I don't know what it is with me and ricochets uh, I will show you guys my other custom ricochet yeah here is the last one I got from him back in like November, October last year the yellow and red damn that looks so cool man just them next to each other we, Mattel actually did make this one, but it was absolutely terrible. I still haven't managed to get it. I kind of want to get it just to do a comparison video uh, between this epic one and the uh, crappy network spotlight one. But yeah, we did use he did use the Sin Cara legs to fix the height, and now it matches the uh, yellow attire I got because he also used Sin Cara legs on that. But yeah, absolutely awesome, amazing work. But yeah guys, that is what I have for you today. Some absolutely incredible figures right here. But yeah, this is probably my biggest custom haul that I have ever had up to now. But yeah, absolutely incredible work from my decals again. Go follow them if you don't already. Amazing work. And let's not forget about the Sami Zayn that we got. Awesome figure as well. We've got the interchangeable hands, of course, as well. And yeah, be sure to go over to my Instagram to see some better pictures of these. Yeah guys, be sure to drop a like on this video for the epic custom haul. And also be sure to subscribe. We're so close to 3,000 subscribers, that is crazy. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. So I just can... Oh. Slipped right out of the bag, but it's all good. And yeah, this is probably my... Definitely my big... This is probably definitely... No.